There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The MGK album Mainstream Sellout is finally here. What's up, guys? I'm Matt from A Change of Scene with your daily alternative music news and reviews. Mainstream Sellout dropped Friday, March 25th at midnight. It clocks in at 40 minutes, which honestly isn't bad for a pop punk album. I'll give you my thoughts on the tracks, but I am curious what yours are. Let me know in the comments. The album was originally supposed to be titled Born With Horns, probably based off of that leading track. It's a decent opener, but I'm glad they went with mainstream sellout because it far surpasses it. Besides the track A featuring Lil Wayne, which we already heard two weeks ago, mainstream sellout is the standout track here for me. It's got a lot of energy and a lot of self-awareness from MGK. that people think he's a sellout and a poser, but he doesn't give a fuck. He's going to make music anyway. For me personally, another couple standout tracks from here are going to be 5150 and World War 4. World War 4 is loud and fast. It's honestly a really good punk song. This is what we're going to do. I got 10 fingers, just two, both hands, fuck you, 10 toes, black boots, the shit out of you. Go! I also quickly wanted to touch on the Billboard article that came out yesterday. A lot of people are really upset that they crowned him Pop Punk's Prince. Billboard even went as far to say Rock needed a defibrillator and MGK came to the rescue. Not everybody agrees, and I get it, but you would have to be lying to yourself that Rock just wasn't in a good place a few years ago. If he brings more eyes to the genre, whether you think he's a poser or not, then more fans of Rock equals more money for bands you do like. He could definitely do better, like bring smaller bands on tour with him, and probably not dig his own hole with some of the things he says. But the guy is self-aware and he opened up a lot in this article in this video. It kills like certain bands in, in that community that I got the success that I got, but I earned that shit. Dude, I was fucking loading up the van with our drums and amps in 2010 going to drive into Indiana and Chicago and all these places playing Warp Tour. It's not about switching, it's not about this, it's just about adding. This shit isn't new to me, it's true to me. I've been doing this. People's eyes were just not focused in the right direction. They were just looking this way. And they just chose to look when I made it pink and I made the whole album reflect what was already happening. I'm fully with embracing the irony of all of this stuff and, you know, I'll call it like it is. My personal opinion is, if you were to slap anybody else's name on this album, like MXPX or Alkaline Trio, and release these same songs, no one would bat a fucking eye. But because it's MGK and it's so controversial, then people are going to have to talk about it one way or another, whether they love it or hate it. I'm just here to enjoy the music, and to me, it's a good pop-punk album, and that's all I'm gonna take from it. What do you guys think? I know it's gonna get interesting this weekend, but drop a comment and let me know how you feel about it. As always, I appreciate you guys liking and following, and I'll see you next time.